what's going on guys well today we've been busy out here in the shop again um make some more progress on the 34 still working on getting the roof off there's a lot of these small nails and screws like these just real small stuff and there are a lot of areas that are just difficult to get to so um been working on that but in the meantime i uh ended up pulling the passenger side uh door jam little pieces off and the door off so i will turn the camera around and show you all that so as you can tell the door is gone and then pulled off our little pieces right here for our door jam it's all these little nails like that right there those are quite difficult to pull out because this is old it's been sitting outside and these nails are small and the the heads of them will break off so it makes it difficult i did end up making a tool i don't know if i've where it went right now but i'm used an old screwdriver and ended up uh cutting it down to make it work here's that little screwdriver I uh, hit it on the bench grinder over here and then put it in the vise and took a cutting wheel to cut a small notch in it because I don't have a hammer or a crowbar or anything to get in these tight areas. So I cut this screwdriver and it fits perfectly on these little nails. As y'all can see there, it works good. Um, so just, sometimes you just have to make your own tools, make them work. But that's the progress that we've got done so far. Um, this wood was replaced in this truck back in like the late seventies when the truck was started as a street rod, but it's set outside uncovered since then pretty much. And some of it's in good shape and probably could be saved, but a lot of it's just pretty well rotten. That's where the doors mount the hinges and all, and those holes are pretty well stripped and it'll let the doors sag and everything. So I've gotten the bolts out that run up here to hold the roof down to the wooden structure. And uh, up here, those are a pain to get back in there. I still gotta do the other side over there, but we're making progress, so. I'll keep y'all updated. What's up guys? So it's the next day. I know that I unfortunately did not get any video. I don't have a stand right now to prop the phone up on, but uh, I didn't get any video of working on the truck, but I did get some more progress made on the 34. So I'm gonna get the camera turned around and uh, show y'all what we've got done so far. All right guys, so here's what we got done in the past couple of days. Um, we have pulled all the sheet metal off, as you can see it over here pulled off the cab corners and the back panels for the cab are down there behind here there's your rear window right down here uh, even pulled out the dashboard which pretty cool it's all one piece came out good easy actually this is all in pretty good shape now these panels here they have some rust where they mount together up in the top in the corners and stuff on these little lips this is what was actually tacked down to the wood was that lip right there for the roll of focus. But there we go. Right in here, all your little nail holes. That is what was actually tacked onto the wood right up here. It was tacked all the way around. Uh, the rear window was tacked on the edges all the way around. So that was the time consuming part of taking this apart was trying not to damage the panels any more than they already are get them off somewhat intact um, now i did mess up some of the panels because some of them just would not come loose so some of them i'll have to bend back and everything which i expected that to happen you can kind of tell like right there prying under it with a screwdriver to get to the nail I did tear it up a little bit but it was expected i am happy that it as well as it did come down a buddy of mine came over 
and help me pull the roof off and the roof itself is actually really solid as you can tell i labeled all my parts um, but the roof is in really good shape so i was happy it came off very easily um, some of the hardest things to take off the panel here that goes over the top of the a pillar had these funny little uh connectors in here's like little washers that had little dimples on it to hold it into the wood there those were difficult to get off but uh ended up actually cutting the one with the die grinder to get it out of there because i was unable to it kept spinning there i couldn't get a screwdriver behind it but all in all it came out pretty well um i'm leaving the cowl on it right now uh gotta get motor mounts done for it so the cowl will give them something to judge how much room you got and everything and it's easy right now if you got to cut the firewall notch it back or anything for the engine to fit that'll be easy access but yeah it came down pretty well i'm impressed with how good a shape that the wood is in now this is not the original wood from 34 um this was replaced back in late 70s i'm gonna say when the truck was started but it still sat outside since then in the weather it wasn't covered up or anything so it didn't deteriorate too bad but i would not trust hopping in it right now and going down the road um not with the current shape that it's in but didn't really find too much rot in it more than expected i should say there's obviously going to be some the worst is definitely on the a pillars up around the top where the doors mount and all are pretty well rotten but i mean it still stays together it'll be enough to get a pattern off of to build a frame from but pretty pleased with how it came out um some of these panels like i said kind of tore up on me getting them off but it's kind of to be expected like i said i'm glad that it came down as well as it did it could have been worse now the theme of this build we're definitely going to try to keep it like a vintage 60s traditional hot rod um I know everybody does the LS and like the resto mod and the pro tour and build and hey, if that's what you're into, that's cool. But that's not really my style. I'm not, I like the LS and new stuff, but the old stuff, I think you should try to keep it somewhat traditional, you know, small block, big block, six cylinder, like what we're doing this route with the carburetors, distributors, make it look more period correct, but still have the power to get up and move. Um, uh, but if the LS and the Pro Touring deal, if that's your deal, go for it. That's just not not really my style on the old stuff. I know a lot of people do it, and some of them, it looks pretty cool, and it's different, but it's just not my style. But at the end of the day, it's your build. If you're spending the money on it, do it how you want. That's what I'm going to do here. Um, thinking about painting it like a metallic purple, though, with a white interior to keep it that traditional style. I think that'll be pretty cool with like a set of cheater slicks on the back. Um, I think that Coker Tire makes a set of them with the white walls. They look, they're going to look pretty good, I think, especially on a truck like this. Uh, I did get some parts in for it. Well, one that I ordered got me a, need the bell housing anyway. And I was able to find this vintage wedge, NHRA approved uh, cast iron scatter shield. This thing here is like, probably weighs 50 pounds very heavy bell housing but i also want to make this truck since it's a vintage hot rod i want to make it look like it could still go down the track or something like that not that it will but i want to build it to that style sort of so that's the progress that we've made so far and i will keep y'all updated and hopefully i can get me a stand pretty soon to put the camera on so i can actually film the next time that we're working on this which should be pretty soon as always, thank you for watching, and uh, if you have not already, please subscribe.